Keepa versus Jungle Scout versus any other sales data analysis software. What are my thoughts on them? Um, I recommend both of them. I think that they're both great. I think it really depends on the type of arbitrage or the type of reselling that you're doing. If you want more in-depth analysis on like, you know, an expensive buy, in my opinion, then keep is like keep is great, right? Because not only can you see the sales history of it, um, you know, what it's selling for, like the sale price, the buy box price, um, you know, all that third-party data, you know, the sales history of it. You can get a lot more data, obviously than you can just like the current numbers on Jungle Scout because those are based off of like best seller rank and what the current sales are right now. But obviously that can change over the next month or, you know, a couple weeks potentially or, you know, whatever it is, especially if it's like a book where something is like, you know, if you're like looking at it right in the beginning of textbook season or, you know, out of textbook season, they're going to be very skewed and very different. And then obviously it could tank or it could, you know, significantly rise. So, um, if you're looking for like an expensive thing or an expense, like to source expensive stuff or like a lot more data then Keepa is, you know, a lot better in my opinion. Um, I use them both first and foremost, but jungle scout is definitely a better, uh, software if you're just trying to do it quickly. Right? So in a lot of these things, it, once you kind of get into the zone, because I don't sit here and like source 10 hours a day or like put like 10 hours a day or like eight hours a day or like whatever a full-time day is for you. Um, I don't put like a full-time day into sourcing. I literally just do it like 20 minutes here when I have some time, you know, maybe an hour on a Sunday, you know, 10 minutes here when I have some time in the morning. And so I'm really about the speed of it, especially now that I'm a little bit more experienced and I kind of can like judge off the competition, judge off the, all that other stuff, like go down the checklist really fast. And so if you're, if you're looking at something like, you know, online arbitrage via like a source mogul and you're like scanning a bunch of software or like even books where you're not spending like hundreds of dollars on a book, you're just spending like 20 or 30 bucks. Chances are you don't probably want to use Keepa every single time because then you're going to be spending minutes on a listing, if not more, maybe, maybe even five to 10 minutes on a listing, analyzing all the Keepa data. And it's really going to slow you down and you're not gonna be able to source as much as quickly. Okay. So if you're trying to get, you know, go fast, or if you're in like a really, really like a, an in-depth sourcing mindset, and you're really trying to scale a little bit faster and get a lot of inventory, Jungle Scout is perfect because you can just hit the little JS extension. It's gonna tell you what the daily sales data is, what the, obviously what it's selling a month, um, and you can go off that. It's, it's very reliable, and so it doesn't give you as much data, but it's good for speed, good for sourcing a lot faster, and it's very reliable. Um, but if you don't have a lot of money, or if you, you, know, you really wanna make the most of your sourcing, and you're willing to spend the more, to more time, and you're like more on the beginner side, then Keepa obviously will give you a lot more data. But one thing I will say about that is like, uh, I forget what it is, I think it's eFlip. But for whatever reason, I have Keepa for free. I never paid for it. Like I never upgraded Keepa. You don't need to, in my opinion. And I have an entire video on Keepa. Uh, if you just go to like YouTube, uh, I believe it's actually in the, uh, it should be at least, it should be in the Amazon um, seller, it should be in the Amazon seller tips module in this course. Um, but if you also just go to YouTube and type in like Brian Garrett Keepa, it should pop up, which will show you like how to use Keepa, all the different ways that you can look at the, uh, the data if you need a run through. But like I said, if you're like a little bit more like strategic on cash and you want to make more of your buys, then Kiva is probably better for you, obviously, because it's going to give you more data. Okay. So those are the only two that I ever used. Um, so I can't really speak to any other sales data, but I really hope that that helps Lewis. Great question.